I am Sir Tap And a very common question with Poke 2 is how do you evolve Pokemon? There's really only four different ways Pokemon can evolve. And this, the easiest thing is there's only one thing you need to do to figure out how any Pokemon in the entire game evolves. You just type P, Pokedex, and then you type the Pokemon's name. Let's see how to evolve uh, Vulpix. And evolution right there. And the nice thing about this is um, no matter what, no matter if they change things, if new features are added and stuff is moved around or whatever, you can always just do P Pokédex and the Pokémon you want to evolve and it'll always tell you. So I don't need to list them out, I don't need to answer a billion questions, just P Pokédex, that's all you need to do. Before we get started, why don't you tell me your favorite Pokémon in the comments? So as you can see, Vulpix evolves using a Fire Stone. So like I said, there's four different ways to evolve. Pokémon either require a stone, which is in the shop, um, it requires experience, which is also in the shop, or you just chat and you natively gain experience. Um, it also can evolve from trading, which, you know, you just use P, trade, you know, and you at somebody that you trust. Um, and finally, there are some Pokémon that evolve with friendship. Now, how does that work? Now, let's see, P, okay, that's... Um, hell, actually, all items, all held items, um, are kind of the fourth category. But let me show you, P, what, what's a Pokemon that evolves with friendship? Uh, Togepi. Togepi evolves into Togetic when level up while holding a friendship bracelet. So, um, the, the way held items work is you just go to P, they're also in the shop. P shop, um, just go to P shop page. Four. So some Pokemon like Sneasel evolves into Weavile holding a Razor Claw. You don't just use it, you have to have it hold the Pokemon and then evolve it. Um, friendship is not, doesn't really exist. You just, it's replaced entirely with this. Where is the friendship bracelet? Oh, there it is. Why is it not? It, I guess because it doesn't have an icon. Yeah, friendship bracelet. All of these items cost 1.5 or 150 PKC. And to get money, you just, you vote. It's really, that's the intended way to get money. There are other ways, but it's really strongly encouraged that you just vote to get the stuff. Um, so that's pretty much, that's how held items work. Let me show you how to buy stones. I think it's, what is it? Three, two. You shop two. Um, first, to use stones, stones are instantly used the moment you buy them. Again, evolving is always 1.5 Poke, um, or 150 Poke coins. Um, the stones are instantly used, so um, what you want to do is... Let's look at my Pokemon. Do I have any Vulpixes or anything? I think Skiploom! Does Skiploom... So to so change your Pokemon, um, you just open up P Pokemon here, and then it gives you a list, and you put in P select the number. So Skiploom's number 12. I think, let's do P Pokedex. Uh, Skiploom. Let's see if this evolves the way I think it does. Oh, no, it's level-based, it's level-based, never mind. Um, I'm thinking of Oddish. It's basically an Oddish clone, but it doesn't evolve with the stone. Uh, Jigglypuff evolves with the stone, so let's just do P, select. Uh, Jigglypuff is number seven, as you can see. P, two, P, by, moon, stone. And it instantly gets applied, so make sure that you have selected the correct Pokémon before you do this, because you might accidentally evolve the wrong Pokémon or something. Um, you can always tell what Pokémon you currently have with just P info. So you can see my Wigglytuff right there. So um, to level up your Pokémon, it's kind of the final way. Um, well, it's the most common way, but it's the final way I'm explaining. To You really just talk, as you can see. Um, you know, but he info. Every certain amount of time, um, you can only gain so much experience per second message-wise. I don't know the exact formula. I'm sure it's hidden on purpose, but as you talk in chat, and it's not only in a chat, um, it has to be in a server. Um, it has to be somewhere that Poke2 can read you. So if you redirect your spawns, but Poke2 has read access to the whole server, um, Poke2 will level you up, even if you talk outside of the spawn channel or whatever. Um, so I can talk anywhere. I'm just kind of demonstrating it here. Um, you can also go to P Shop 1. 
You can just buy rare candies directly. That's just a straight up level up. Or you can buy experience boosters that boost your experience from talking. Duels do not give experience and neither do catching Pokemon, I believe. I mean, technically they give you the experience that just entering the chat message, but you know, really, the thing most people never seem to have gotten about Poke2 and their original Poke Chord, it was supposed to encourage talking. And that's what, the reason I removed it from my server is because most people that play Poke2 never actually talk. It's weird. Um, it's designed to encourage talking, so I really do recommend talking like a real person with other real people because a group back and forth conversation with multiple participants, that spawns Pokemon like crazy. Um, if you just go ba 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 and you know it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't really spawn pokemon you really need a back and forth thing um all of the pokemon bots all of them to varying degrees have a thing that says oh this sir tap tap idiot this stupid moron is just posting messages way too fast i'm not gonna post anything but if it sees like 10 different people going back and forth hey bob what's going on bob oh i'm i'm good bob one are you good bob three oh i'm good bob four um then that's when pokemon tend to really spawn so, evolution's pretty simple. Again, just never forget P, Pokédex. And then, oh, before I even forget, Alolan Vulpix. Did I typo that? Alolan. Oh, right. Alolan Vulpix. The last time I checked, Vulpix. The last, yep. So Alolan Vulpix cannot evolve right now, even though it is in the game. Um, this is just because the bot is a work in progress and it's just not out yet. Um, I do believe Alolan Ninetales does exist, but you just can't evolve it right now. In theory... Oh, that's weird. Is Alolan... Huh. I guess they just don't have Alolan Ninetales yet at all. Uh, in theory, it should use an Ice Stone just like it does in normal Pokémon. But certain brand new Pokemon may just not be able to evolve yet because the bot owner has not implemented it. And you can always tell that just because P Pokédex will not show a thing. Alolan Grimer. See, Alolan Grimer's evolution is not implemented either. But you can bet your top Poké Dollar that as soon as their evolutions are implemented, once you do P Pokédex, it'll just be right there. So that's really all you need to know. Um, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more guides and videos. I cover lots of different types of games. Um, let me know in the comments if there's other guide videos you'd like to see. I am Sir SirTapTap, signing out. I almost forgot, so Mega Evolutions. For Mega Evolutions, it's really just like the other ones, but you just go to P Shop and page 6 has Mega Evolution items. Now you need to know which Evolution Stone it is. 90% of the time, it's just the Mega Evolution Stone. You just need to use P by Mega Evolution. Um, for Charizard and Mewtwo, I think it's just those two. There is an X and Y form you need to buy the right stone. Um, and you just need to... These Mega Evolutions cost a thousand. But in Poké 2, they are basically permanent. You can un-Mega. I don't believe you get your money back, though. And there's not really any reason to un-Mega. But if you want to do an, a Mega Evolution, say if I had a Blaziken or something, you just do P by Mega Evolution, there you go. And then P on Mega, I believe. Yes, P on Mega is how you just un Mega. You don't actually get an item, just like the Evolution Stones, the Mega Evolution is instantly and permanently applied directly to your currently selected Pokemon. The um, only other real thing to know, um, that's right, Parker. Um, Primal forms are considered Mega Evolutions. I'm not sure about Rayquaza. I don't have a Rayquaza to test with, but I would guess that it, you just use the Mega Evolution instead of the Dragon Ascent situation, which is how it's supposed to work. Um, if anyone has a Rayquaza and can test that and let me know in the comments, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.